Hello there, human beings of the internet. It is I, Ryan, back from an unfortunate failed recording. We tried to do a play session and ended up with an hour and 60 minutes of black because it didn't record the right screen properly. But we're not going to say what we played because we will be doing it again soon. In fact, it'll most likely be the next play session. But until that point, for a video to actually come out today, I've gone for this. It's not really different. Well, it is different. It definitely fits the something immaterially different. But people argue that this isn't a game. You can see it on the screen already, it's her story. This I decided to just play a little bit of through something immaterially different because of the fact that this was a game that was made by Sam Barlow. I uh, believe I've got this right, a writer on some of the Silent Hill games, I think Homecoming, something like that, but has branched out effectively into um, FMV games of a very particular style. There's this one, which we're just going to push start on now, As, and you know, I like the, the sound effect, but, you know, we don't want to be hitting uh, copyright claim territory, that's why I've been trying to talk as much as I can. So we've got a computer loading up. Now, the reason I did this is the spiritual successor to her story came out tonight. As I recorded it, it recorded this, it came out tonight, yesterday by the time the video goes online. So it came out 23rd of August 2019, date the video, there we go. So I'm playing through that, and I'm going to be playing through that on my own, because I don't want any sort of spoiler territory going on, don't want any sort of thing, I just want to experience that myself. I've already put about an hour into it already, and I'm enjoying it so far. But the reason I was looking forward to that so much was because of this. So, this is the logic database, and this is how the game starts. You are a sort of an unknown person. You might be able to kind of see a, a little silhouette in the middle. So there is there is someone there. But you're playing an unnamed person at this at this moment. And you're trying to find information on something. We do this through the README, so this is the information of the logic database. It's a very sort of specific system. It only searches for clips that contain words or statements as they are in a given piece of video footage. And this is how you play the game. This is broken up into a series of interviews that have been fragmented in an old database. And this character, getting some information from SB, um, wants to find some information about a case from 1999. But the tapes... Well, it's better to get into it. So, you got the, the search term. It says murder. We'll keep that. It's going to load some clips. You click the clip and you'll watch it. And it's got subtitles in it. Very nice and interesting for that. There's other stuff on the computer as well. There we've got a you know, Southeast Constabulary. We've got a clock app so you can see what time it is. That's very nice. Um, we've got this. We've got the readme text. In the rubbish bin there is a, a game. But no. No more. So this contains four clips that have the word murder. It's very specific. The logic database can only show five clips at a time though. But we're going to click one. And the idea is you learn, you take notes, I know that's a funny thing, you take notes of what is specifically said, and you can use them as keywords to find more things. So we've got this little database checker here. In fact, I'll watch a clip. So here's the first clip. We've got some user tags. Be warned, when you put a user tag in, it can then come up in other clips. But we're just going to play the clip. You think it's murder? And it plays like a video. A tape. You think it's murder. You 
what can I do to help? So it's just one actress. And it's just information. So that said, you think it's murder. Well, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? There isn't really much information gleaned from it, but I'll add it to the session and can come back to it later. So there's another bit here. A database checker. So this shows you every... This is... And then the red bit is every bit of information that I have not yet watched. Green will come up once I've watched something. So the idea is that you get an idea and it'll be in order of what video clips are set. So we'll come out of that for a second. We'll watch the next clip. So we get some more information. Yeah. That's me. Okay. But February, that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Okay, so we've got a bit of information that could come up on that. There's February, so there's the month, and Simon. Now we don't know who you know Simon is, but given that it said Simon's murder, you can kind of put two, you know, two and two together for that. So we've got February, we've got Simon. I'm going to add that to the session as well. You can add, you know, any amount of clips stored, so you can come back to, to bits as you go along. So let's have a look at the next one. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it okay. wrong. You've got the wrong person. Wrong. Wrong person, and the these all have dates in them as well. So if we like go back to the the database checker, so you can tell in the timeline where everything is. So the first one with this yellow, the yellow jacket, or yellow, orange. My God, cold blind, right? Let's try that again. So say so it's right there. So it's early on in this process. Yet down at the bottom, so sort of near the end of it. So, let's add that. And then here we go. One more. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Please. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. Mm. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. Mm. So yeah. So not much information to go off. You know, there's one woman involved in everything, possibly involved in a murder of a man named Simon. Some of that happened in around February. I'll come out of that clip because I did that by mistake. So yeah, just fragmented. But the idea is you take the search terms and you go again. So one of the search terms we had was Simon. So we type Simon in. Query the database. Now you see how problematic that was though. Simon. Just just Simon. 61 entries found and the game only lets you view the first five. So you have to be more specific. But there's still information that you can glean from each of them. And it's all from the same Simon. interview. Simon Smith. So there you go. They Simon Smith. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more yeah. special work. Mirror making, feature windows, artistic things. Really See? beautiful. So, so you get a bit more information there. So we could look at all these other Simons, but we could narrow it down a little bit. Simon Smith. Now it's too narrow. But what else did we have? We had Ernst Brothers Glass. Like that. Okay, the same one. But we got Glass. Five entries over four different days. So, you know, what's this one? No, he doesn't have any tattoos. He has a scar down here near his stomach, past his hip. Hmm. Cut himself with some glass. That was before, a long time ago. He looks just like the photo. He's not got his glasses on here, though. He takes them off with the camera. Mm -hmm. But he needs them to see properly, you know. And he has to read a newspaper or a menu in a restaurant. Not book so much, or watching TV. 
Hmm. He likes TV. I'm trying to remember actually what decent TV series were on in 1994. I was too busy watching CITV at the time. So not only have I dated the video, I've dated me. Perfect. See, there's bits that always happen. The flickering of the lights in the background. You know that there is someone here. And it's sort of, when you make certain, um, when you find out certain bits, sort of the music will change, and the screen will go. So let's find out some more information about the word glass. It wasn't so much. It was one of those arguments that had been simmering for a while. The present was a mirror, a nice mirror. He'd engraved the glass, the kind of mirror a princess would have in a story. A princess? Story? We've had that a lot. Especially for you. So if it isn't the title music that gets demonetized, it'll be me singing a Kylie Minogue song. So, what else? Let's find more stuff. See, this is what I like about it. It's just quick clips. Yeah, on his clothes. That would make sense. And I know... He made it. By hand. I know there's not much interactivity, he but... the silver onto the glass. That's not how they make mirrors these days. Mm. He made the mirror. And he gave it to me. Ah. Does anybody know more about mirror? Mirror. Glass. More stuff. Is that what happened? Who knows? But, yeah, that was the thing on this. Is it, is it really a game? I mean, does it have a failure state? Well, yeah, if you don't know the story. But, I'm a sucker for narrative. I've explained it before in other, in other games. A good story can help, for me, save a game in spite of the flaws of the game. And, this game is not Perfect. Nah. Well, I've thank you. Coffee for today, thanks. Glass of water. Now, have you noticed something there? Let me just go back. I'll just add this to the session. Well, you can't delete things out of the session, I don't think. But, just so. Have a look at that clip. 1st of the 7th, 94. Okay, 30th of the 6th, 94. Well, she got a whole fresh new tattoo in a day. Let's find out more about the tattoo, shall we? Oh, my tattoo. <laughs> I got it to express my individuality. It's an apple and a snake. Hmm. Apple and a snake. Just search for a name. Seven entries found. My name is Hannah. H A N N A H. Is found right? Yes, thanks. Use the same backwards as forwards. Okay. It's not quite symmetrical, but well, you get the idea. Sorry. Hannah Smith. I live at 31 Gladstone Street. Anna Smith. This one looks interesting. See, this is yes. the rabbit hole that you get into. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh. Sure. You fail a test question. That's that's a problem. But yeah, I like it. You just go into a deep rabbit hole. I mean, you just look at stuff that could be insignificant and find meaning in it. You could find something that you think is sig is significant and it just ends up being a red herring. So... My name. That was the only question I failed. <laughs> the lie detector works. So she's not Hannah. Or is she? See, I don't want to go too far into this because I honestly recommend that it's something you play yourself. 
Um, and I feel that's going to be the exact same way we're telling lies. Like I say, I've played an hour, I've used some of the clips, and there are some improvements. There's stuff missing from telling lies that's not in. Though that, that was in her story that's missing from telling lies. But that being said, I am instantly in with the story. And the difference on that is that there are four cal- characters to follow instead of just the one. And it's. There's locations everywhere. So. I'm. So it hasn't say I want to do another something immaterially different later down the line. Showing telling lies and sort of comparing the two. But, yeah, you should pick this up. If you like your stories and you want something a bit open-ended, something that you can think about and that you can put your own interpretation on, go for it. It's, it's on Steam. I think it's on the other stores as well. I didn't research much before going into this. I just wanted to wax lyrical about something for a few minutes. But I definitely suggest you give this one a shot. Uh, so... Until next time, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, click a bell. If you want me to carry on with her story, I may do that later down the line. Just start fresh, we'll go through it together. And then I'll look with that we're telling lies as well. So, uh, yeah, until next time, please, for God's sake, don't search, you know, don't, don't, don't go crazy. Well, it was worth a shot. I'll see you next time.